Hello, in this video tutorial, we are going to develop the velocity profile of a liquid which is uh, contained between uh, two plates, uh, the lower plate and the upper plate. So we will be considering two cases where the upper plate is moving with a velocity of 1 cm per second and in the second case this upper plate uh, which is also called uh, the sliding volume is uh, oscillating with a velocity of a sin omega t where a is the amplitude given as 1 cm per second and omega is the angular velocity which is a uh, 2 meter per second and uh, uh, we will be uh, taking two different viscosity 0.1 and 0.5 pi so the length of uh, this plate is 2 cm and the distance between the plate is uh, given as uh, h which is uh, 1 cm so we are asked to use Comsol to investigate how Vx varies how the velocity of this fluid varies between the midpoints from here to here of the lower and the upper plates at uh, different times and interpret the results so open the Comsol multiphysics click on the model wizard click on 2D now go to the fluid flow click on single phase flow and now click on laminar click on add go to study select the time dependent and uh, click on done so the console window is open first we have to define the parameters which are used in the simulation so click on the parameters and enter the all the given parameters so length of the plates uh, length of the two valves is 2 cm so I am entering 2 cm here and uh, the distance between the wall is 2 sorry 1 cm and similarly put all other parameters uh, so I have entered all other parameters Vx0 the velocity of the sliding wall rho 1 and uh, mu 1 now go to geometry right click on geometry click on the rectangle and uh, this is L we have to actually uh, define the geometry here and uh, this is H so build selected this is the geometry now we have to add the material so click on material right click on material and uh, add blank material here we have to enter the density and the viscosity of our material so the density was defined as 0, 1 so type rho 1 here and it was defined as mu 1 so type of mu 1 here so we have defined our material now go to the laminar flow right click on the laminar flow and click on the inlet so this is uh, the inlet and uh, boundary 1 as this fluid was uh, initially this fluid was uh, stationary the fluid was uh, not moving there is uh, no bulk movement of this fluid the fluid will only move due to the movement of this uh, uh, this valve so you can say there is actually no uh, flow rate at the input and no flow rate at the output so you this is uh, select pressure and uh, set the p naught to zero similarly right click on the laminar click on the outlet at the outlet again the p naught must be set to zero now again click on the uh, laminar flow right click on the laminar flow and uh, select the wall so select the boundary 3 which is actually the sliding wall and the wall condition is a uh, slip velocity <coughs> so click on the wall movement and uh, check the sliding wall so sliding wall we are given that this velocity is a vx naught which we have already defined in our uh, parameters and uh, this wall this is wall 1 which is the lower wall and uh, this is a stationary wall with no slip condition now go to the mesh element size must be fine and uh, click on build arc so this is our mesh now go to the study this step 1 time dependent study and here I have to enter uh, different ranges where I want to see my velocity so I have write, uh, written three ranges here 
first range is from 0 up to 0 0.1 with an interval of 0 0.01 the second range, range is from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 with an interval of 0 0.1 and the third range is a from 1 to 2 seconds with an interval of 0 0.5 seconds so now uh, click on the compute button and uh, this is the velocity profile after 2 seconds as you can see that uh, the fluid near the um, lower plate is stationary and the fluid near the um, upper plate is moving with the velocity of the upper plate so as we move from the upper plate to the lower plate the velocity is uh, actually decreasing now uh, let us uh, check this velocity at uh, 0 second so you can see that most of the fluid is a uh, almost all of the fluid is a uh, stationary so you can uh, check this at uh, different times 0 0.01 second 0 0.02 second 0 0.03 second so as the wall is moving uh, the momentum is actually diffusing from the top plate towards the lower plate now i want to plot on the velocity profile uh, from this point uh, to this point at different times so for that go to the data set right click on the data set click on the cut line 2d and here point 1 is this point so this is l by 2 and uh, here the value of x is l by 2 and uh, y is 0 so i type l by 2 and y is 0 and this point is l by 2 and uh, the value of the y is uh, h here so l by 2 and uh, h so plot so now we shall uh, plot our velocity profile under this line so for that uh, click on the right right click on the results and the 1d plot group and uh, then click on the 1d plot group 3 and uh, click on the line graph and uh, here select the cut line 2d1 data set cut line 2d1 and uh, this type u here y x is data so expression is u and uh, from here time selection click on the list and uh, press the control key and uh, select different times so i am selecting 0 0.01 0 0.02 0 0.05 then 0 0.1 then 0 0.2 0 0.5 and uh, suppose this is a uh, 2 and uh, okay so i have selected uh, different uh, times with the control key here you can enter the title type your title manual custom and uh, i just like the automatic so the access date x access data here you can uh, type the x access title and uh, this is the coloring and style so the line is a solid a cycle dotted what type of line you want in your graph so let it be the cycle a solid and the color is a cycle and uh, the width of the line is i'm uh, choosing it as two so you can select you can uh, actually change from this uh, bar and uh, it uh, you want a cycle marker and uh, uh, you want a marker on how many uh, points so i am selecting this as uh, 8 which is a depart value and the legends here uh, when you check the legend so you will see the uh, legend so now click on the plot so this is the velocity profile and uh, let me check this show legends so this is uh, this is showing us the legend so at 0 0.01 second the velocity profile looks like this at 0 0.02 second the velocity profile looks like this and uh, as uh, we uh, uh, at, at 2 second the velocity profile looks like uh, this so let me interpret this uh, these uh, plots so this is the velocity profile at 0 0.01 second when the upper plate start moving the liquid and content with that plate is start moving with the same velocity but as we move away from the top plate towards the bottom plate towards the lower plate the velocity is actually decreasing 
and uh, this uh, zero actually shows the lower plates and uh, 0 0.1 0, 0 0.01 is the upper plate similarly after two seconds uh, the velocity profile look like this and after three seconds the velocity profile look like this that means uh, that uh, the diffusion uh, sorry the momentum is actually diffusing from the top plate towards the bottom plates so as the time passes the diffusion the momentum uh, diffuses and uh, reach to the uh, lower plates so after two seconds this is the velocity profile the velocity of the fluid which is in contact with the upper plate is moving with the uh, velocity of the upper plate and as we move away from the uh, upper plate towards the lower plate uh, the velocity is uh, decreasing in this fashion and the fluid which is in contact with the lower plate uh, has a uh, zero velocity uh, as described by the no slip condition the second case uh, where the upper plate is uh, uh, oscillating with the velocity bx naught a is equal to a sin omega t uh, will be discussed and uh, simulated in the part 2 of this video.